All right, so now then, uh, I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit off uh, because, you know, the sun is peeking through. Yeah, um, today I decided to do a uh, video on a pair of boots that I've already had for a while now. Uh, but update you a little bit on how they wear over time and um, See what they look like and if they are up to standard with uh, uh, Pair of boots that are a little more pricier and uh, the boot that we have today is This one right here I think it's the, it's called the Marcus boot or something. It has exposed zippers, this fringe going down the side. Really neat detailing, uh, really kind of tells it apart from just an ordinary beige boot. I have some shoe trees in it right now. So I have not used this like this shoe tree that much on this boot. Uh, I pretty much wore this every day, except from the days that it rained and uh, when I was in England for my vacation. Uh, I know I'm talking a lot about that. So with this colorway or whatever, you are gonna get a boot that looks a little dirtier than uh, uh, it would if it was just like a black leather or a um, black suede. It, you wouldn't see as much of the dirt. But I think that is also a little bit of what makes this boot uh, or like gives the boot its... Uh, gives it a little bit more texture and personality in my own opinion. Like you can see there's some scuffs here and there uh, on the toe box. I actually, the first time I wore this, I wore it out for a uh, really late night. Uh, and there was like beer all over the floor, so everything was like completely sticky. And the bottom of my shoes became like uh, completely black with dirt. dirt. But, you know, when once you wear them... Uh, the leather will deteriorate a little bit, it will wear away, so they're not as sticky anymore. But uh, you could see on the bottom here, they are quite well worn. Uh, all these <clears throat> little black spots that you see uh, are actually uh, from... Currently where I live we have like a road right next to us where there is uh, Where they constantly pave uh, Pave the ground uh, Or pave the pavement and then it just becomes like Really to be honest they always Manage to make the road super Like what do you call it? I don't know uneven right and uh, there's always like hot rocks uh, laying around all over and that is what this is this these darker spots it's like hot rocks that's like kind of melted a little bit into the shoe but you know probably not the best idea uh, to go for this type of shoe to walk around over there but hey you know gotta wear your boots you know what I'm saying this one I, I feel like this holds very well up for um, uh, in comparison to like a lot of more expensive boots and um, well I've, I've worn this for about uh, seven months uh, close to eight maybe and uh, I haven't really cared for them all that much other than using a shoe tree for them so I think they actually are holding up pretty well the other shoe here as well is pretty much as worn 
But you know, if I were to um, actually compare it to another boot, which I've I've worn much less than these, but in terms of price range, they're a little more expensive, and uh, I've worn them similarly. Uh, in amount, I don't know the exact amount, but it's like maybe five months or so, uh, and that is these over here, the um, Lucas boots from Saint Laurent, and uh, they uh, actually, the sole on them, I don't know, I have this other pair here where I actually stepped in the little or. I'm saying orange this purple piece this purple like discoloration you see uh, on the end there is actually me stepping on a, I think it was a blackberry or <laughs> is that actually a real thing we were making smoothies and I was either coming back home or uh, uh, leaving for something I don't know and I was just walking into the kitchen where there was a raspberry or blackberry and uh, bada bing bada boom there it was but these also uh, i feel like gets character over time once you wear them uh, they get a little bit dusty you get a little bit of a discoloration you can see uh, maybe i don't know if it's that prevalent but uh, there's a little bit discoloration on the seam of the back here uh, and yeah just felt like it was kind of neat to show a little bit of a comparison to how a uh, how much are they like 400 uh, 400 euro or 400 pound boot versus a $795 boot like what that like the differences that you get uh, I don't know the style is like completely different between these two obviously the sole is like way bulkier on these so like the leather that they use is also probably pretty different uh, a shoe that would be more eligible for a comparison would be a pair of just Wyatt's, I would assume, uh, from Saint Laurent, for example. But, you know, I haven't worn them. Like the beige ones that I have, I haven't really gotten around to wear that much, so uh, comparing them would just be kind of useless, because, you know, have to wear them first. But anyway, get those out of here. Uh, I haven't really worn these in the rain or anything like that but I've been walking around all over like uh, I haven't walked around in mud or anything but I've uh, pretty much walked on every type of surface that you could uh, imagine without uh, watery surfaces I guess. <laughs> but yeah, I think they do pretty good over time, and then, like, obviously, uh, with the sole, you can just, like, add a lug sole or whatever. That's probably the wrong wrong term for it, but a, uh, uh, a, the, 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 the type of sole that you just put on the bottoms of your leather soles, you know, and then suddenly you have a, almost a completely new boot, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm going to show a little bit of on body or... I'm going to show a little bit of uh, B-roll of me wearing this shoe uh, and a little bit of close-ups to see, to give you a little bit uh, more of a inside to what they look like when they're on. And uh, yeah. Roll the tape.
The first time that I wore these uh, was actually at my brother's graduation where we had to go to uh, his school and look at him getting the award for graduating and one thing I figured out at that point in time was you should not really wear boots that you got uh, straight out of the box for five hours because you know what happens? I'm gonna show you what happens. I've actually tried to wash this a little bit away. It's kind of gross, so viewer discretion is currently advised. But here we are. I don't know if you actually can see it in there, but that was acquired for five hours of wear with these. These shoes were really like kind of almost one of the most uncomfortable shoes that I've ever worn. But then immediately after those agonizing five hours, they were completely broken into, which is super weird. I was scared that the, the heel cap of this shoe was made out of plastic because I know some shoes does that. I don't really know the brands or anything like that, but from the first doesn't because I mess messaged them and asked if they do that uh, because I was scared about the fact that I thought they would just not fit or like they would just continuously be agonizing. But the second time I wore them, they fit like a glove, you know? So these are actually one of the most comfortable shoes that I own with these. And um, yeah, but still, just, I guess you don't, you, you shouldn't, you just shouldn't wear shoes for five hours straight out of the box. So that's something that I've learned, you know. Who has time to just like ease into the process? Uh, hold up. Uh, but anyway, you know, if you made it this far into the video, why not just hit that subscribe button and smash it. And um, I will see you in the next video. But wait, wait, actually, wait. Hold, hold. Like the video, yes. And comment if you have any questions about this boot or this boot, you know, and have a magnificent day, beautiful evening, and a amazing night of sleep. See you in the next one. See you later, friends. Much love. Hope to see you on the next adventure. <laughs>